Stop the bleeding. Understanding English idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, stop the bleeding. This idiom is a great example of how English uses vivid imagery to convey a message. Don't worry if you're a bit confused about what it means. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand it but also be able to use it confidently in your conversations. Before we understand the idiomatic meaning, let's break down the literal interpretation of stop the bleeding. Literally, this phrase means to halt blood flow from a wound. It's what you would do if you or someone else gets a cut or injury. This literal action is crucial in first aid to prevent excessive blood loss and promote healing. Now, let's explore the figurative or idiomatic usage of stop the bleeding. In a non-literal sense, it's used to describe actions taken to halt or reduce damage or loss in a situation. This can be financial, social, or even emotional. For example, in a business context, a company might take steps to stop the bleeding by cutting costs to prevent financial loss. To understand this better, let's see some examples. 1. Business context. After the new product failed, the company had to stop the bleeding by reducing its workforce. 2. Personal finance. He had to stop the bleeding by cutting down on unnecessary expenses. 3. Sports. The coach made a strategic change to stop the bleeding after the team lost three matches in a row. In each of these situations, stop the bleeding is used to indicate urgent action to prevent further loss or harm. When using this phrase yourself, remember that it often implies a sense of urgency and remedial action. It's a powerful way to convey that you're taking control of a difficult situation. For instance, you might say, I need to stop the bleeding by sorting out my schedule. I can't keep missing deadlines. And that's it for today's lesson on the phrase, stop the bleeding. We hope this video has shed light on how English often uses physical actions to describe abstract concepts. Remember, the beauty of language learning lies in understanding these nuances. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this explanation helpful. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.